congratulations on the movie. Thank you. Am hey, I love the thumbs up. Am I doing this up. right? Yes. 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 Okay, that's great. So I want to know, when you first met each other, what were your first impressions of each other? And how did that change through the, through the course of doing The Fall Guy? Oh, I just thought, this, this is not going to work. This is not going to work. This is not going to work. This guy's not funny. No. We're not going to be able to do these scenes. Does he yeah. learn his lines? Does he know Does he know how to act? And we were like, right. We were right. And like no, nothing changed. Your first instinct is usually right. Go with your gut, it doesn't change. Yeah. What, you mean he didn't sing the Ken, the Ken song to you? No, no and I begged. I did, I, too many times. You were like, enough. <laughs> oh so God. when he did it at the Oscars, everyone was like, oh, oh my God. And I was like, oh. <laughs> no, Thumbs Emily, down. Emily, you've called the fall guy um, a joy bomb. Yeah. Now, in, in, and, I, and I really agree because I love the movie. But apart from the movie, what gives you the most joy? My children. I know everyone will be like, whatever, but they do. They, give, they bring me joy every day. You've mentioned your kids, and you've said before that your kids are, a f are fans of Ryan. Have they, they met? They are diehard fans. <laughs> you don't understand. I was leaving them a little video yesterday, and this one came in the background of it and went, I said, can you say hi to them? And he goes, hi, Violet, hi, Hazel. And they were so giddy in the video they sent back. I think he's like their first crush. I no. think he's like, no, I think you, 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 you and Taylor Swift are their first obsessions. Fact. They How like, they they're, Ken, they're Ken fans. No, they, Not please, if, if they met him, it would be just, they'd be so nerdy. They'd be like, yeah. they'd be like oh, he's not that That's great. Oh. <laughs> but Ryan, how about you? What gives you the most joy? My kids, of course, yes. you know, it's, um, what's better, they're the joy bomb. So Ryan, it takes bravery to be a stunt performer. Now in a parallel universe, if you could be a stunt performer, what actor? would you want to stunt perform for? This one right here. This one. Because I, I just want to be eating burritos in my trailer and making you do all the stunts. Yeah. And I'll just nip in for a close up now and then. I'll put on a big gardening hat. Yeah, you look great in a gardening hat too. A pink onesie. <laughs> That's a nice hat by the way, are you gonna? Thank you. <laughs> I actually do like those hats and I started wearing them uh, the summer before I did Fall Guy. And so I said to Sarah, would you ever, our amazing costume designer, would you ever get me some of these hats? And then I wore one of my own hats in the rehearsal of the beach scene the day before. And he was laughing at me because the hat did genuinely keep blowing off. Well, there was a helicopter like five feet away. There was a helicopter. Away, and so, so Ryan was like, you've got to wear that hat in the scene. It's so funny. And it, the hat then became the thing that they first sort of reconnect over or fight over. And it was such a fantastic prop for a reconnection. It was perfect. And we've started a hat company. Yeah, we have. So it it's going to be huge. Way to start. It's, it's going to be huge. Really marketing for it's, it. It's called it's called Set Life, and it's mm -hmm. just. <laughs> it's all this. Yep. You both are known also for your singing skills. I mean, you didn't throw in the, I'm just Ken when you were in, in karaoke. No. No. Ryan yeah. ran. He just like vaporized as soon as the karaoke machine came out. He was like, I'm out of here. But what I are have your? I an issue with karaoke etiquette, anyway. Do you, do, have you ever been to a karaoke night? I have, and I tried to sing a song, and they said, oh, you can't sing it, somebody else already sang it. And then were you done? And I was like, so? And they said, karaoke etiquette. And this it's is a, a rule thing. in karaoke, no, you can't a do a song if someone else has sung it? No one wants to hear that twice. I don't know. I think someone could do it differently. Give someone a shot. What, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? We can't just guys. let people sing the song they want to sing. We have to true. control that. I know. Why are we straightjacking people's talent? Sorry, I agree you there. Hit a hot, yeah. It's a hot button it's a issue. Hot button here. issue for Ryan. <laughs> well, thank you so much for <laughs> thank your time. You. I love the movie and congratulations. Thank you thank very you. much. I'm glad you liked it. Thank you. Congratulations on this wonderful film. Thank you, thank so, you. So David, you've been a part of the stunt community for many years. What yeah. did you want people to discover about stunt work with the Fall Guy? Well, I really wanted them to see how um, much stunt performers love their job. You know, the relationship between Colt and Winston Duke's character, um, you know, Ryan and Winston's character, there's this camaraderie, this brotherhood, you know, they're quoting movies, they're having fun. It's like they've known each other for years. That's truly what it feels like to be in the stunt community. Like, it's really small group of people who love their job. And although we're taking these risks and we're designing all this big stuff, we're really down-to-earth, relatable people who just love movies. Now, the, the chemistry between Ryan and Emily and the entire cast is like fireworks on screen. <laughs> now, what were the qualities that convinced you to put everyone together, this particular group? Well, a lot of the casting choices come from Kelly, who is a, my you know, partner in all of this. And um, 
Ryan was a no-brainer. Like before we even had a script, we got Ryan involved, and he's a big part of the creative process. Um, Emily was a, a, you know, fingers crossed. Can we get like you know one of the biggest actresses you know with this hook? And um, we got her. Um, Hannah and and Stephanie and Winston were all like you know actors that we respected and loved, and we knew could bring these characters to life. And we. Um, had to reach out and give our pitch, and um, you know it was fun to get to work with all of them. They're all so talented. There are a lot of physical actors who in 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 Hollywood right now, but who do you see as potentially could be a good stunt performer in real life? Well, there's so many. I'll say that um, Aaron, who doesn't get to do Aaron Taylor Johnson, who's playing Tom Ryder in this movie, he doesn't get to do much action in my movie. He did some action in Bullet Train, but he's an incredible um, athlete. And I have yet to really get to work with him and give him all the action I'd love to give him. Because he's yeah, obviously such an incredible actor. He gets to play these great characters, and he's happy with that. But I know he's dying to do some action with me, and I'm dying for him to do some action for us because he's actually an incredible athlete. So there's talk about finally having a category of uh, honoring stunt work in the Academy. What mm -hmm. is your take on that? Um, I'm fully supporting it. You know, I think it's um, it's a... It's time, and we have been working inside the academy with a lot of the, you know, stunt people who have been in the academy for years to shine a light on it and, like, work towards it. You know, recently casting got, um, they're going to be getting an award, an additional award inside of the academy, and so there is now a path to where um, they could um, honor action design stunts. Now, collectively, the stunt work in the film is just incredibly impressive. Could you talk through about the most challenging stunt filmed for The Fall Guy? Wow, there's so many that I could choose from. Um, I do think breaking the world record for canon roles was probably one of the biggest challenges that the stunt team had because we set the expectation so high. In fact, I wrote it in the script, you know, Colt Seavers does a world record canon roll. <laughs> but you didn't so, expect it to actually happen. No, but I think that they really set their sights on it. And I do think we, we did also talk about how we wanted stunts to be highlighted because the story behind the story of the movie, it's a celebration of, it's a story about a stuntman. Let's make sure we do some amazing stunts. And so you know, the goal was to set a world record and like that took a lot of planning, logistics, rehearsals, trial and error and um, resources and um, but they delivered. Yeah, they did. Yeah. And you delivered. Thank um, you very much for your you. time, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it.